Hello there guys, today I want to show you a little alternative uh, Windows XP uh, if you want to call it like that it is called Windows POS Ready 2009 um, what that actually means, that means point of service um, that is computerized, uh, that's for computerized you know cash registers so you can download it from Microsoft for free uh, it's 120 day evaluation and uh, there you can see you will need a product key though it's actually very very easy to find so do not freak out about that uh, it's actually on a YouTube video I found it and uh, this actually requires at least a Pentium 2 with 233 megahertz and only 64 megs of RAM um, and the, the same requirements are for Windows XP so as you will see actually very soon this is almost Windows XP with a different theme and a little slim down so once this starts up you will actually see a Windows XP uh, boot screen and um, you know uh, that is actually a boot screen from Windows XP. So first, this is just the virtual machine thing. So don't know bother about this little loading bar there. Um, and there you go, Windows XP. But this is not Windows XP. Um, it's just the root of the system. Um, it's identified as Windows XP, but it, in real, it's actually Windows Embedded POS Ready 2009 which is a very long name but it's pretty much Windows XP for cash registers and it runs on PCs too so pretty much it's a Windows XP operating system it says already here Windows Embedded, POS Ready, blah 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 uh, Service Pack 3 so yeah Windows XP Service Pack 3 so a difference you'll see here is that it's actually saying Windows Embedded blah 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 and it has a Windows 2000 like um, login screen uh, which can be optional set for Windows XP too but it's not by default there and it installs some updates when I shut it down so that's why it's taking a little longer to boot up there and you can see the login screen I have no password set um, doesn't give you any options there, so I'll just click OK and log in. There you actually hear the Windows XP startup chime. And as you can see, uh, the theme is a little different there. Uh, so it's pretty much looking like a facelifted Windows XP. And uh, there is no Windows XP style, you know, that blue black, uh, blue, silver, or uh, olive um, colored theme. There's just this blue or Windows Classic, which looks like this. We all know what that is. Uh, so now it would, you wouldn't actually notice that this is, you know, not Windows XP. But uh, this style doesn't look too bad. And it's pretty much like Windows XP. There's no, absolutely no difference on the window borders. I mean, they're not thicker or so. It's just the same. So there's, there's a start menu and that is a little smaller and I believe you can adjust that here. Yep, here you can see I believe usually it's 7. Yep, there you go. Now I have it the right size. Uh, and there is no crapper installed. So I did not install anything uh, that is, you know, not on here. So all you get is accessibility there's nothing communication is just a bluetooth network and new connection wizard so pretty much all you need uh, system tools we only have internet explorer which is updated to 8 I would recommend installing a different one as well uh, anyway uh, you get an open explorer and that is all an explorer um, uh, doesn't look different I mean that looks like the Windows XP explorer and um, uh, as you may have noticed there, there's no uh, my uh, documents or so, so you can actually, I believe, 
if you go here and advanced and here yeah there you go display as link display as link I know that offering system so well so it should be the same yeah, and here you go we now got this back too and look at this this is like Windows XP there's no difference so why should you actually install this POS ready uh, other than Windows XP well Windows XP the support for Windows XP will actually end in April and that is not very long from now but the support for this operating system here will only end in 2019 which is well a long time from now now we have 2014 so we've got more than well four to five years support and uh, it does, still doesn't require you know a high-end computer at all and it says it here Microsoft Windows embedded POS ready so this is actually uh, the whole system name but if you go here to um, just do here the command prompt and there you see it says Windows XP version 5.1 and that is actually Windows XP version 5.1 is the internal um, uh, version name for XP so now you get all this and you say well is this really Windows XP well, I'll show you. I'll install a little program. So let's just go into Internet Explorer and uh, yeah, just download a program and uh, let's go to Google. I don't know. Let's just install a better browser. Let's just install Firefox and download here and download. Getting a certificate error there. Don't know what that is. Can't make it bigger anyway. Yeah, Internet Explorer is best right here. Let's download it from there then. Uh, okay. So as you can see, this whole UI actually works just like XP. And also the VMware tools, which are here, uh, they also work with the XP version so I, I installed Windows XP version and it did work so uh, actually there as you see that time is the same time zone everything is the same there also just go way here and go to the control panel we all know what the Windows XP control panel looks like there you go just in blue and uh, also add or remove programs there is a framework pre-installed you should update it though it's not the latest one and there's also obviously the point of service uh, thing installed so now we can run here the Firefox and it will install just fine so we go next and next and yes and it will install there and that it install here and now you get a shortcut on your desktop just like you would on the regular XP and you can open it up now we don't want to import anything and here we go now we have the Firefox um, running on Windows Embedded POS for any 2009 which is pretty hard to say and now I'm also installing um, a very uh, important unfortunately important uh, piece of software on the internet Adobe Flash and uh, yeah while this is installing there uh, I can show you that this is actually showing Windows 5.1 I've never tried this before in WinVer Win verification I believe that stands for I believe it does uh, and here it says 5.1 so this is Windows XP pretty much and now we can go to YouTube I just tried a little browsing around and it shows everywhere when you're doing something uh, you know that it always says you're using XP service pack 3 I just do a Mac uh, I do Mac there God what are we gonna take I just do an Apple ad yeah whatever 
Let's just do this. I've already tried that. And here we go. Here's the Flash player working. The Firefox working. Um, and here it is in the start menu. You can also, I believe, also get here the classic start menu. So if you prefer that, you can have it there. It doesn't show you anything here. Uh, like, you know, Windows XP or so. I will stick with this. So this works as you can see just fine. And uh, yeah, it's installing the same updates uh, for the system as for Windows XP. So if you go to update.microsoft.com and you let it do the update thing, as you can see, it is having that kind of style like for Windows XP. So, uh, <laughs> It is pretty much Windows XP with the longest support and a different name. Um, everything is pretty much the same. There is, if you're a Windows XP user and you don't know that this is, you know, Windows embedded, POS ready, you will, you will just continue using it and you won't even notice that. And it's not so bad that this, you know, software is missing, you know, like MSN or uh, all that junk you don't really need, uh, like on accessibility, if you don't need that, and uh, it, it doesn't require a lot of space. So let's just check the hard disks there. Um, we have 38 gigs of space, and it's only used 1.87 gigs. And I've already installed some software. I've already installed some updates. I just eject this disk here. It's still the the disk. Uh, and yeah, I will continue using this, you know, for my XP testing when the support is gone for XP. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much a Windows XP. So, uh, screensaver <laughs> says Windows XP right there, but there it says Windows Embedded. So, yeah, there you go, it's already saying Windows XP here. And when you go here, 3D text. Oh no, it doesn't say XP there, but it's kind of, you know, interesting. It is pretty much XP. So, um, for all you guys who are afraid, you know, Windows XP is dead and now you need a better computer or you need to upgrade to a different Windows that requires more resources, I can, I can completely understand that. I mean, that is um, understandable. I've also got a computer that hasn't got the best specs there and uh, it, it's... You know, it's okay. I mean, that is working very fine. All the drivers should be working since this is, you know, an XP. And uh, yeah, I don't know what SM messed up there. I should try to correct that here. What is that actually? <laughs> Why would you have a background like this? Or this? Why? <laughs> Makes no sense there. It's a stretch. Yeah, here we go. So yeah, you can do all that junk you can do with the usual XP and uh, okay, yeah, this is it. Hope you found it useful, and I would recommend downloading it. I mean, I don't know when they're gonna, you know, get rid of it. It's still free to download on their freaking website. If you have the product key, which is not hard to find again, uh, you can go to Microsoft.com and uh, do a search for. Windows Embedded POS Ready, or you can make it shorter as well, and uh, yeah, POS Ready. This is, I believe, uh, yeah, point of service. This is a different one, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm only gonna try that one too, but and this is not the one I looked for. Oh, I have to search for 2009. Yeah, there it is. So, here it is. This download link, I will put that in the description. There's only English available, there's no German or so, so... Yeah, for me, it's no problem, but maybe that matters to you. 
there, there is a lot of instructions here as you can see so I didn't explain that. The installer is quite different than XP1. It's not hard to use or so but it is different. Um, and uh, yeah. Okay so I hope you find this useful. And uh, yeah. Install it. Get it. It costs nothing. And uh, it's 120 day free trial. So you should definitely check this out. And uh, yeah. I will see you in the next video.